Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am so glad you're here. I am doing, I think it's the very first ever video for an illusion bloom. Um, I am going to link Tatiana who is the creator of the illusion Dutch pour in my description box. But I'm pretty for sure that this will be the first video for the illusion bloom. So um, here is what I've just done. It's not dry yet, but we're going to make this right now. So uh, grab your notepads, get ready, and let's get busy. I'll see you down on the canvas. Thanks. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Thanks for being here. I'm so glad to be bringing you this video. It is a spinoff of the Illusion Dutch Pour. There is a beautiful lady from Indiana. Well, she lives in Indiana now. Her name is Tatiana. I will link all of her information, her socials in the description box so you can go check that out. But I'm going to try this technique on a bloom. So I will call it the Illusion Bloom Technique. I hope you like it and we're gonna begin. It's just basically blowing out a bloom and then we're going to use this impasto paste to make texture on the top of it. So, uh, welcome to my channel and if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and uh, hit the bell. You will get all the notifications if you click all um, on when I upload videos. So, that's free to you and it helps my channel immensely, so I appreciate it. Let's get down to business. So I'm going to use a 10 by 10 canvas, and I'm using just the normal house paint. It's PPG, white and pastel base. I'm using Liquitex Basics in Dioxazine Purple, Arteza in Pearl Cactus Green, and Arteza in Magenta Light. And I've mixed those with Valspar Untinted High Gloss House Paint, along with some Josonia varnish. And we're just gonna kind of blow out a bloom here. Just get this spread out a little bit. Okay. Just gonna go really quick through this one, see if we can't get a bloom right in the middle. All right, here we go, let's do it again. So I'm gonna start with the purple. I have a few collaborations in the works, so Hope you guys subscribe because it's gonna be a lot of fun. I've got a little bit of everything for everyone on my channel, so please go and check it out. I do all kinds of art, all kinds of projects. And I am using Lamp Black Cell Activator. Um, it's mixed with one part paint, three parts Australian, Australian Floetrol. that's good. I'm going to put the paste on top of it anyway, so if it kind of dries wonky, I think it'll be all right. So I will be right back, guys. Okay, now it's fun texture time. I don't know if this is going to look the same as the other one because I kind of went off the sides here, but um, you'll kind of get the idea of how to do it. So, Okay, so I am using this impasto paste. Um, got it from U.S. Um, Art Supply on Amazon. And I'm using the Let's Resin Interference uh, Powder. And I use the silver, the interference silver, because I didn't want um, a whole lot of color on top. But you can use whatever color you want. So I just took this and mixed the powder into it and um, now we're just going to uh, take a little bit of this, a little bit, just a little, and we're going to start uh, right here. Just going to just going to pull it down. that. 
Sometimes you have too much on there. Sometimes you have not enough. You'll figure it out. And then I'm just going to make petals uh, and I'm going to kind of turn my board around a little bit. So, and we're just going to go around. I'm going to speed this up. Okay, so now we just wait for that to dry um, and uh, it's done. So let's just, uh, pretty cool. All right, put my lid on my stuff and uh, call it a day.